The Maison de Dance, or the Maison as we used to call it. One of the best known dance halls in Teesside at one time. But I remember it for an entirely different reason. Because this was the place where I had my very first dance. Every night was dance night at the Maison in those days. There was ballroom dancing, old time and modern. But as far as I was concerned, they were different nights and different worlds. My world was Saturday night and rock and roll. This was the old cloakroom where we made the last few adjustments to the terribly important hairstyle and fixed our faces in an Elvis Presley scowl before walking through to the dance floor to lose ourselves in the madness of the music. Things definitely ain't what they used to be. They're turning my local pally into a do-it-yourself store, which is quite a novel twist. Bowling alleys apparently have had it, just like the kind of dancing that I cut my first corns on. We must have looked a pretty ghastly sight as we jived and danced down here. All the boys trying to look hard and the girls looking hard to get. We used to wear these light blue jackets that came down almost to your knees with black velvet collars and trousers so tight that you almost had to grease your legs to get into them. Thick crepe sole shoes and enough hair cream on our sideburns to grease a car engine. Oh yes, and some of us even went so far as to wear those horrible Lurex suits that shone in the dark with boot lace ties and a great big jewel. We really thought we were the kiddies. This is the wooden balcony where they served soft drinks. And I, I always found it pretty hilarious that so many blokes managed to look so tough behind bottles of dandelion and burdock. But tough you had to be, or at least pretend to be. Many a good night out ended when the bouncers heaved a gang of warring teddy boys out onto the pavement outside. But it wasn't so much getting chucked out or fighting that worried most of them. It was the fear of getting blood or mud on that nice blue suit. Well now, the demolition men are raising the roof of the old mason like we never could, beam by wooden beam. The teddy boys, fortunately, have all grown up. The mason, sadly, must come down. <laughs>